In this lesson I will show you how to make from this image, this image. This is the picture that has been taken uh, during my uh, studio workshop and I was thinking for a very long time how to edit it the way that uh, you know it's not just gonna be a boring girl lying on a sofa. So uh, I decided to add some sparkle to it, uh, little fake reflections. Oh, and that's how we do it. So this picture has been uh, taken straight from the Lightroom and just the colors have been, ch have been changed from the raw file, so no editing. And uh, we will now add a texture to this image. And by texture I mean the picture of um, the sparkle bokeh image that we will apply on the top of our image. So these textures you can find on the internet or you can make them yourself. I suggest you go and download them from deviantart.com. There's plenty. Just search for bokeh texture. So uh, let's use this one. Open it. There you go. So uh, we have to copy this image. Control A, select all. Control C, copy. Then we open our image. Control V, insert in a new layer. Now our sparkling layer is a bit larger than the picture, so we press Control T, which is a transform and we scale it to size of our image. Not necessarily to the size, but just that I'll make it the way that it appears that there are more sparkly stuff. So apply transformation. And now what we do on the right hand side where you can see our layers, which is the background layer and the top layer that we just applied with our texture, we change the blending mode. Here on top, now it's set to normal, so it covers completely our picture. We don't want that. We want uh, our initial picture to be seen through. So uh, we choose the color mode screen. And there we go. We can move it a little bit. So the circles are not on the face. A little bit on the face is okay. Then what we do is we take the eraser tool. Uh, the size, this is good for this picture. Don't forget to change the opacity of the eraser tool to uh, less than 50% and the flow to less than 50% so uh, you're actually erasing the top layer with the texture smoothly. So let's see how it does that. Like that. So we erased some of the some of the circles, some of the part of the texture on our face of our model. So let's see. So we erase it like this, softly with the eraser tool set up to opacity. In this case, 37% and the flow 39%. So now we merge the layers. And I also wanted to add a little bit of the grain to the image to add the edge. So that we do in a filter menu. But before we do that, we have to change the background and foreground to the black and white. There we go here, press, and it's automatically changed. Because with any other colors, it won't work. So we go now to add the grain, we go to filter, distort, diffuse glow. It will also add some glow to our image. If you want, you can leave the glow here, glow amount. Maybe I'll leave it to two. And um, then automatically it set up too much grain, so I will remove it, I'll put it to four points, okay. So what we see now it's our image with grain and a little bit of glow on the skin. So the glow part is actually highlighting the the bright parts of the image. 
and that's it well actually on the other picture I added a little bit of the sort of a, a movie style uh, top and bottom black borders I can show you how I did that we go to image canvas size see the canvas in pixels you see the height is now 531 pixel and we choose it change it to 631 pixels so it's gonna be 50 pixels on top 50 pixels on the bottom canvas extension color this one we leave it black so uh, the parts which will be extended will be black that's what we need press ok voila and there you go that's the end of the lesson and feel free to apply it to your images let's see once again before after before after <laughs>